What's up, YouTube land? This is Damien, and well, I'm back to do another game review. This time, it's gonna be on Assassin's Creed Rogue. Now, I know it's been a while since I did this, so just roll with it, okay? Alright. Assassin's Creed Rogue features this entirely on the life of Shay Patrick Cormac. Now, First off, you you begin your, yourself in as, as an assassin. Okay, I'm about to do a spoiler alert, so people, as I always say, either just fast forward or get the game before you watch it. That's all you need to do. Um, he starts off as an assassin, but then as you pro progress, you start killing the Templars as normal. Yes, it it is normal to kill Templars in that game. Don't tell me it's not. But you progress to kill Templars, and as you go, you see that there's um. He starts seeing that there's a bad side to being an assassin. Apparently, the assassins now are trying to destroy the world. That's why you don't pick up artifacts you don't know. I will never. You do a level in Portugal. You go there. Um, you climb up. You, well, you go into a church. Well, that's they immediately put you in the church when they when the level begins. Well, the the sequence. Never mind. Sorry. When the sequence begins, you start off in the church. Um, you have to go up onto like let's say in in. in Assassin's Creed 2 and Brotherhood, you gotta go through the temples of Romulus and, you know, they have, you gotta go through different churches and shit to, you know, grab some artifacts. Basically, that's what it, this is. You go and you hit a couple switches, four switches, um, simultaneously, not simultaneously, um, at different points in the church. And apparently that the people that are giving a sermon does not see an assassin running around on their fucking church on the church grounds. Apparently it's I only know how you cannot see that. I ran directly up onto the altar and stood there for twenty minutes. Nothing. I didn't get desynchronized or anything. But that's besides this point. When you unlock it when you lock all four switches in the middle of the ground, the the ground opens up, and you go down to find a piece of the a piece of Eden. So, for those of you who played almost all the Assassin's Creed games from two on, well, Assassin's Creed one kind of sucked. So I'm gonna say it kind of sucked. So two on, then you know what the piece is, the this is what I'm talking about when I say the piece of Eden, like the apple of Eden, but it's a piece of it. So, I he touched it, and then it, you know, disintegrates for some fucking unknown reason, and the whole damn place falls apart. Yeah, that entire country fell apart. Apparently, Portugal got fucked up. He turns on his assassin when he gets back to the assassin headquarters. He turns on his assassin mentor, and steals a box and a manual. Well, it, it basically shows you precursor sites, apparently. So, for years you go on an extended, you know, search to kill not only your friends, but also many other Templars. Well, not temp sorry, Templar, not Templars, Assassins, sorry. So, this is the first game I've ever, ever played that you go from an Assassin to a Templar in less than, well, in two hours. I liked it, but then again, I like playing as the assassins. Um, so, I'm not going to go through the whole game, so I'm going to let you experience it for yourself. I would suggest you playing Rogue. So, let me tell you a couple, couple of mechanics. One, the stalkers. Oh my god, the stalkers. Ugh. I cannot believe how hard it is to watch your ass. 
you you can't run around the damn city for 20 damn minutes, not even about five minutes, without running into these freaking whispers, and then some freaking lady jumps out the damn air, jumps on you, and ready to kill you. Yeah, it sucks. But you want to know something? I had a freaking ball, because I... Because after the first 10 minutes of them trying jumping on me, I finally had enough. The minute I, <laughs> the minute I heard the freaking whispers, I jumped up to the building. I saw her, and I kicked her off the building. Yeah, you you drop kick people off buildings now. I liked it. I I thought it was a good addition. It hurt my soul when I saw it. <laughs> That's scary. Don't. <laughs> Yes, they died. A very horrible death. Apparently, you you can you can now you can run up to civilians and beat the shit out of them now. But they don't desynchronize you. Look at that. Yet they send bounty hunters after you. Yeah, they have police now. And I ran, I tried to engage the bounty hunters at one point. I was like, you want something? Why run? I could whoop their asses. Not the case. Not the case at all. I got my ass whooped. <laughs> I couldn't land a hit. Every time I tried to counter their moves, they counter mine, and they beat my ass to the point where I couldn't... I, there, was, there was a little bit of my health left. There was that much left. I ran. I kept on smoke bombing them, hoping that I can get far enough where they just freaking gave up. And they did. So I was like, you want something? I, I'll do it on occasion. I did drop kick a um one of the guards into a wall and broke his back. Their legs are facing down, but their bodies is looking up. Um, so I was like, Jesus Christ! Whoever made this game really wanted to look realistic. But again, there's a couple things I can say about the game. One is fantastic. The graphics are fantastic. I haven't seen a beautiful game like that in a long time. Um, the funny thing you can do in the game is you can um, take over gang headquarters. Take it from assassins and give it to the British. Yeah. <laughs> who who would thought? And also you can you can prepare settlements now. Basically meaning you can make your own you can make a city and your profit off it. Which is fun and fine and all, but then again it's like what is, what kind of person is gonna run that damn place? But yet the guards that you stationed there still attack you. So what was the point? Well, overall, the game is really fucking good. Um, sorry, I bad my language. So I hope everyone goes out and tries this game. I I give it a nine out of ten just for the sheer goodness, but still it glitches out. So. That's why it's 9 out of 10. So, from Damien to YouTube land, I'm signing off.